There's a difference between carrying the podcast and just taking over completely and not letting your co-host get a word in edgewise. <gasps> oh, we're on. Yeah. It's the 15-Minute Morning Show <laughs> podcast. Uh, let's see. Froggy's here, and there's Gandhi in Santa Fe, and there's Scary. Hi, Scary. I'm behind you. <laughs> <laughs> There's Scotty B and Master Control. Hi. There's Garrett right across the room from me. Uh, there's Brody in the den, and there's producer Sam in her studio. Hello. And Danielle's in the basement. Hello. And here we go. Um, so, you know, after we're done with this, you're going to hop in the RV and head toward the Grand Canyon with Diamond and Andrew. Are you excited? I am so excited. The Grand Canyon is definitely something I've always wanted to see. I only ever see it flying over. It looks incredible. There's also so much cool stuff to do there. There are like like donkey rides and horse rides and alpaca farms and, of course, skydiving. We're really excited about that, but the best, and I'm super excited about this, too. We're going to pass by the Petrified Forest and the Painted Desert on the way over there, and I'm very excited to see that stuff, too. You know, uh, you know what? Gandhi's kind of living out our dream. We're living vicariously through these three as they, uh, they're they traveling across the western part of our country, ending up uh, in the Bay Area, in San Francisco, right? Yep. Our goal is to go touch the water so that we can say we drove half the country from so Texas it, all the way to California. How is it driving that beast? I mean, it's big. It is huge. I was really nervous about driving it at first, but it does drive just like a big truck or a U-Haul. I mean, there are your your buddy Drew yesterday, who we spent a lot of time with and is amazing. He was giving us all kinds of tips on things, on what to do, on how if you blow a tire, you do not slam the brakes. That's the last thing that you do. You just continue to drive forward, take your foot off the gas, and pull huh. over. I know he brought us all these tools just in case. He's great, so... Hopefully yeah. that's not going to be a problem. We're checking our tire pressure and making sure to avoid treacherous roads and stuff like that. But it's Also, been... you're driving that huge 20,000-pound piece of metal, steel, whatever yeah. it is, it, you don't want to make any sudden moves if you're driving. No sudden moves. So, so let's, say, uh, let's say a road runner runs out in front of you. <laughs> yes. Me, me. We were given instructions, <laughs> and I quote... To blow that motherfucker to smithereens. <laughs> I said, what? Kill it. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what? It's either you or the uh, roadrunner. Uh-oh. Sam, you bring your anvil? about this. Oh, no. Just drop oh. an anvil then, on it. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, of course. From Acme. And then Acme. the other day when that jackrabbit ran across the road, it actually ran out into the road. And I remembered what the guy said about you cannot slam the brakes, don't swerve, don't do anything. And I just screamed at the top of my lungs, no, no. And I think it heard me and then went back the other way. Oh, it hurt you, of course. Oh, good, good, good. Sure. Terrible. So, does anyone else have any thoughts about this? I mean, this is an intriguing, intriguing journey you're on. I, love I can't it. wait to see what happens if you get to skydive because that's like a dream of mine. That's going to be amazing. Oh, I, I wish pictures, you guys could do this video, stuff too. and everything. And I just push Diamond out the plane. So she, does it. <laughs> she said she doesn't even trust us enough to accompany us to the skydiving site I don't because she her. thinks we may do something. So wow. she's like, I think I'm just going to stay oh, in the room the while you guys go act like idiots. Petrified forest. What's that, Brody? Petrified. I said she'll be at the petrified forest being petrified. She'll be petrified. <laughs> they, they, they built a forest for, for people just like her. For her. Gandhi, what's the uh, temperature at the Grand Canyon right now? Uh, that's a good question, and I do not know. It's a big canyon, so there's probably different, different, yeah, different, different, temperatures. different temperatures. I was just thinking, it's a. Have you guys? Has anyone else ever been to the Grand Canyon? No. I took a three-day hike through it. We roughed. Oh it. my God! It you was, did. It was one of the best experiences of my entire life. I don't remember ever being that tired or that impressed. We went on like a scorpion tour one night. We slept in tents. The the bathrooms were super uncomfortable. It was basically a hole in the ground, and it was still like three of the best days of my entire wow. life. Wow. You know, awesome. a buddy of mine actually went into the Grand Canyon. You can do a tour and go, they, you can get lowered into the Grand Canyon. You got, I think they do it by you helicopter or something. Oh. Yeah. And he went down there, and it's a different terrain and a different experience altogether. So this what? was one really? really cool thing I thought about the area. When they took us to the final campsite, it is a residential area for a very small group of people. And the only way in or out, other than like a half a day full hike, is through a helicopter pad. And he said, everyone has to be extremely careful because if 
heaven forbid you break a leg and you need to be helicoptered out of here, everyone who lives here gets dibs. So if a villager wants to go get milk, they can cut you in line. If they want to, they hopefully would not. But it's this is their area, and that was the agreement like we made with them when we said we can use their area to hike. All right, let's don't oh, break wow. any don't oh. break any limbs in the Grand Canyon. Oh, you got that broken leg there, limbs. eh? Well, too bad. Yeah. I need to go up and get some Skittles. <laughs> yes, <laughs> come back later. No. I need That's I need true, a but... gallon of lactate. Wait, <laughs> they don't have the... DoorDash down there? No, like, <laughs> Instacart. <laughs> but you know what they do have down there, and this is why the postal service is amazing. They still get mail and the way that they get mail is via donkey they send donkeys down <gasps> to deliver mail to this particular tribe so that they can still have access to the things what, that they what need about amazon does the donkey well, bring my Amazon the donkey package? to get the Amazon package down I guess so. There. They have an Amazon donkey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how cool. So cool. Well, I, I love that we're following you and uh, we're, we're watching it as it happens. So it, they hit the road again today. They're going to be back off the grid. Of course, you see her now. I hear her now. She's on the grid. People are a little confused. They, right. they need to understand that this is not two weeks of solid off the grid. It's on and off the grid, but... We are most interested in the off-the-grid part. Right. Right. So we have to find our way to a grid, obviously, to be able to be on the show every day because this is not vacation. It's awesome, and we're getting yeah. to do amazing things, but we still have to work every day. <laughs> yeah. Diamond and Andrew are up at the same time I'm up, and they're working on the things that they do. I have to be on the show, which is still wonderful. But to do that, we have to find a place from which to broadcast. Right. And out here, we have to get to places because, you know, the Wi-Fi, there's Wi-Fi places, but we don't know that we're going to always be able to have a solid connection so we've tried to set it up so that we can go places that will be able to connect us so for the show we'll be on the grid for the rest of the day off the grid yeah and those same people who are complaining that you're not off the grid they're like hey post some pictures it's like wait a second do you want us to post <laughs> pictures yeah. or do you want us to be off the grid which one do you want <laughs> yeah. see for me exactly. i know you have a rule but i would like to see what it feels like to poop in a moving vehicle because i've never done that before you never pooped on a plane? plane? No, I won't do it. Why? Good for you. I don't know. I just never have in my life. Oh, uh, I love pooping on planes. I think it's because I just <laughs> do you? I don't want the next person yeah. to say, uh, ugh. That's why I don't do it. Scotty, oh my gosh. Have you ever been on sat? Cruises. Hmm? Sorry, go ahead, Daniel. Have you guys ever sat at the back of the plane uh -huh. by the bathroom? No. Yeah. It's horrible. I did it on a flight back from the UK, and let me tell you something. That will never happen again. I know. I check to see where my seats are if they're like given to me ahead of time, and that I do not nah. care. There is no way in hell. I'm you don't want to sit by the bathroom on a flight Ooh. from London because it's all you know. They all ate uh, fish and chips and oh. shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. Yeah. So that awful. last row on a plane feels like punishment because your seat doesn't recline. Everyone's always if they're not going to the bathroom and stinking it up, they're just standing next to yes. you, butt to face level. It's terrible. I hate that last row. Ugh. Hey, Scotty, yes. you've been on week-long cruises. The ship moves, you've pooped. I, I only did it when we were docked, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Really? What? No, I'm kidding. Okay, you're right. So You're, you're right. weird. You're right. Do you want something with wheels? Wheels, yes. I, I want to poop in something wheels. with wheels. Okay. Well, I'm sad you didn't come so you could poop on the RV, Scotty. <laughs> Dream Ooh, big, Scotty. Has wheels. Dream big. <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, anyone else want to bring something up for our 15-minute morning show podcast? Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Something wow. we talked about <laughs> uh, was something we talked about on the big show today where the whole reincarnation thing and that's my uncle. Somebody texted in that they went a loved one died, they asked for a sign, they left the hotel room, and when they came back, there was a black snake under the bed and they were convinced that was their aunt or whoever it was. I guess <laughs> please. Could it, it could be. You don't know. Come on. Well, if, that's what if we were you saying. Have the power, you usually, when you see not a black snake, Brody, but if you see a butterfly or a cardinal or a uh, a beautiful, you know, animal stroll by, you're like, oh, there's grandma. But if it's a fucking fly, like, nye, nye, right. granddad, nye, nye. we yeah. never ever equate those okay. to like dead relatives. I'm telling you, my dad came to me in the form of a dog, Brody. Uh, okay. I believe yeah, I remember it. Remember that, Daniel? Yeah, I remember, remember that, that story? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. It's true, well, but never like it's never like a gnat. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so everyone besides Danielle is crazy. She, she's uh, no. It was a dog. What I'm saying is, it's awfully convenient that people come back. They have the power somehow to come back from the dead and only come back in things we find to be endearing and cute. Like exactly. Elvis said. We, well, yeah. It could be but that they're just dreams. sending it to you. It's not them. It's they're they're sending you something just to tell you things are okay or that they're happy or that you know you're being taken care of. I mean, you know. I totally sure. agree. I And also, if somebody 
has that happen to them and it makes them happy and it gives them some sort of comfort or peace. I don't ever want to be the person that's like, just so you know, that's coincidence. It's not real. Sorry, you were happy. Yeah, I'll do that. That's oh. fine. I'll take that. Right. <laughs> brody. Was. I would never be no a Brody. You brody will shit on your what? parade. He does not care. <laughs> In the form of a bird. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> like, <laughs> it'll be the shape of a I, bird. Something I'm going to talk about on the Brooklyn Boys today, which is scary, but I'll bring it up because it's close. When people say like, oh, my, f- not you, Danielle. Oh, my father visited me in my dream. Oh, my mother visited me in my dream. Listen, Kate Upton visited me in my dream. It's not actually Kate Upton. I had a three-headed zebra in my dream a couple nights ago. It wasn't actually a three-headed zebra. You don't get it. I dreamed you don't it. Get it. Come on. I love you're how you just I'm just saying I love for how me, you said not you, Danielle, I, I, and then you proceeded to shit all over her dream. Right. I know. No, I'm saying Danielle's <laughs> father I'm saying Danielle's father may have visited her. I'm saying for me personally, oh. when I dream about someone in my life that passed away, like my dad, it's cuz I dreamt about my dad. It wasn't cuz he's visiting. Are me. you saying your dad came back as Kate Upton? That, I'd be fine with that. I'd be like, that's cool. <laughs> and by the way, there are dreams and there are visits. It's actually two different things. And I'm starting to agree with Scary. I'm only able to take Brody in doses. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, luckily, it's Small a 15-minute show only. We're all very lucky. <laughs> hey, speaking of, uh, you and Scary got into a little bit of a tiff earlier. And so, oh, did it? Yes, you did. No. Where was. Scary said he could only take so much time with you. Brody. Mm-hmm. Fif- a few minutes. That's a it. few minutes. And, and then Brody, Brody, Brody said, say, yeah. Then Brody proceeded to say, well, kind of funny how that guy you know, tolerates me for a few minutes. I carry the 15 minute morning show. I mean, I carry the Brooklyn Boys podcast. Right. Oh, right. I don't know. And, and then Scary says, there's a difference between carrying the podcast and just taking over completely and not letting your co host get a word in edgewise. <gasps> <laughs> well, I, I, I only do that based on what the listeners request. <gasps> really? Okay. Oh my god, I'm so yeah. uncomfortable. Wait, the listeners request you take over and do yeah. well? Yeah. yeah. Really? Now, scary. So the other back. part you said that Brody's not even from Brooklyn. <laughs> no, no, Garrett's not even from Brooklyn. Oh, Garrett. Oh, yeah, we'll make it the Borough Boys. No, no, Garrett. Garrett. No, Brody was like, "Hey, we should we should just have Garrett and me do a podcast." And I'm like, "All right, it won't be Brooklyn anymore." Oh. I visited from time to time. It's just right across the bridge. Yeah, exactly. The Guinea will make it. The, we'll See, make the, it the thing I'll, that people I'll change don't the name of the podcast to the Borough Boys. It's Brody fine. and I have been yelling and screaming and squabbling with each other since uh, the dawn of time. Since we since we've known each other, Elvis, you knew that. You used to have to break up all kinds of arguments, but. But that's not who we are. No, I didn't. Well, when we were back, no, in the other studios, old school studios. Between the two, I mean, we always I, used to, we I, always used to fight when squabble, you know, whatever. I don't, Daniel, I don't, don't remember that? this. Stop I don't remember. Oh, no, wow. no, it, wasn't, it, was, it was actually Brody and everyone else. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I remember that. But no, but no, but we we actually really do get along. We, but this is our way of like. He, but I can better. see why people would want to hear more Brody on the podcast because you're on the morning show every day and they don't really hear from Brody. So that's their that, chance to hear Brody. That actually is the number one thing. They're like, oh my God, I finally get to hear Brody. I, I Brody's not, you know, he's on the morning show, but he's kind of barely there. I'd be careful because he has a lot of fans, Scary. If you if you crap all over Brody, <laughs> they're crapping all over the fans. That, that oh, no, Brody. they love Scary too. I was just kidding. We're, we're actually but, trying to plan a live show. Yeah. Like a comedy and, show. And, and we got a phone number too for the podcast. Yes. Gonna... Who's barking? Uh, I have three is that dogs my gra- in the house. Is it my great great grandfather? <laughs> Percy. Yeah, right. Oh, you know what? Somebody, my uncle's coming to visit me. He's barking at the window. Yeah. No, we have we have three dogs in the house now because my wow. daughter has a dog and she is uh, in Europe for her master's degree and couldn't take the dog right away. So we have the dog for like three months. How fun! Have all those dogs. Yeah. I would love that. Awesome. Well, he's a year old. I think I told you, Elvis. Uh, we have to like train him to go out now and like. It's like having a baby again because she she house trained him and now that he's here we have we have like the pads I have to walk him at five in the morning yeah. like get him out it's 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 an adjustment but he's have cute we, he barks a lot how are we doing on time there Froggy uh, we got one minute left Elvis oh oh who, who Scotty wants to take everything the last you believe minute. in is wrong what's that Brody I said Scotty it's your turn everything you believe in is wrong. Oh. oh, it's my turn. Okay. Have you ever have you ever injured a body part they didn't you didn't realize that you used so much until you injured it? <laughs> What'd you what? injure, Scotty? Where are you not, going well, I can see it right there on his hand, on his finger. It's not what you think, but I took a chunk out of my thumb, oh! uh, closing a beach umbrella, and I actually had to go to the lifeguard stand with a boo boo, and I felt like such an idiot. But the blood wouldn't stop, and so I can't do anything because I I do everything with my thumb, and I don't realize it until like I can't do anything on my phone. They need to invent band aids that have those things that you can touch your phone with. You know, I don't know why they don't do that. But well, you'll have that thumb back before you know it, Scotty. I hope yeah. so. I'm 
more surprised you didn't think you'd need it until like you. I know. Well, Thumbs I just, are I didn't, super important to the human race. I didn't realize how much I used it to grip things. Oh, that's really? What yeah. for, well, that's what yeah. they're. What, what, that's how what did, sets a support. Then what do you animals? do this? Like, why yeah. are you standing around? It's like, like this microphone. Like this all day. No, yeah, you can actually. You can't even unzip yourself. Like now. I can't. Uh, I can't write properly because of my thumb. I can't hold my thumb. Are you left-handed? I am left-handed. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. All so right. Well, you, that was our last minute. We spent that on uh, <laughs> Scotty's boo-boo. We'll go. Uh, we'll get out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.